Hey geeks, welcome to another exciting episode of 256 Seconds with .NET Dave. I'm David McCarter, and I, today I want to talk to you about something I've been dealing with for over a week on my current contract, and that is dictionaries and double lookups. I'm going to explain to you what that is. But since I've been dealing with it for a while, and this is a performance issue, I kind of want to talk about it really quick with you all. So where the issue really comes in is when you're using a dictionary and you use contains key to see if that dictionary has a key in it that you're looking for, and then look up the item again, uh, that is a performance issue. That's what we call a double lookup. And I'm going to show you in the next slide exactly what I mean. Here's an example of the issue. First, person ref dictionary is calling dot contains key to see if that item exists in the dictionary. And then right after it, it's basically doing the call again. This is what I'm talking about. This is a double lookup, and this is a performance issue, and I'll show you this in a second. So this is an issue, this is a double lookup, but in the code I'm working on right now, I'm seeing triple and even quadruple lookups in the same block of code. So you're really hurting your performance at this point. Here's how you fix it. You just incorporate using try get value instead of contains key. So here I'm doing try get value, on the out is the actual value I'll be sending to the update method. You can see right there, there's the value. And then I'm just sending that value into the update method. So this is preventing the double lookup issue. On this benchmark test, I actually tested using dictionary and immutable dictionary just to see what the speed differences are. And as you can see, Using try get value in both cases is about double. Actually, it's 1.78 times faster if, you, if you're using a dictionary. And if you're using an immutable dictionary, it's 1.95 times faster. So almost double the speed difference. And this is important, especially if this code is in the cloud, because not only does this take longer to execute, but you're going to be charged almost double the cost just for this little block of code. So in this same solution I've been working on, they are actually using a dictionary as an internal store uh, for some custom types they've been writing. Because it's a dictionary, they implemented a method called contains key. But I want to talk about this because if you're implementing this in your custom types and you do implement something like contains key, you're gonna cause a double triple, quadruple lookup. So the solution is just to implement your own try catch, as you can see here. And this is basically, I just basically stole this from the .NET uh, code itself. This is how they implement uh, try get value. In this case, in this custom type, you can see here it's 1.544 times faster uh, if you use try uh, get value instead of the uh, contains key with a double lookup. So Visual Studio will uncover some of these issues for you, but to uncover all the issues, you need to implement this in your editor config file for the CA1854 uh, code check and set it to error. And if you do that, like I've been doing in the code base I'm working on, autumn all of a sudden you get all these errors that you need to go in and fix. So after I got done working on this for the benchmark test and also the amount of times that contains key is, use, is being used in the code base I'm working on, I wondered maybe we could use a different collection type to maybe make this a little bit easier. So I tested list array and mutable array uh, all with the same uh, benchmark tests and um, all of them are slower than using dic dictionary. So don't change from dictionary, uh, use dictionary, uh, but make sure you always use try get value. So there you have it. I hope I showed you exactly what the issue is, exactly how to fix it, and then also showed you the performance benefits you get when you go through and fix your code to use try get value instead of contains key. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time on 256 Seconds with Donette Dave.